This is Andy here. So I found this YouTube video talking about bypassing the embedded optimizer for these solar panels. I installed two of them on my roof and I'm using my much hated whatever makes sky blue, but it is working. So we're up here on the roof, so I've taken off the back plate and the way I did it is I used tiny flat headed screwdrivers and you gotta kind of slowly pick away at it. Just like the uh, video I'll have linked in the description, I popped it out just using needle nose pliers. I um, just popped out these silly little fins. Following his instructions, I just bypassed. So I took one of the pins and I unfolded it and then put it around backwards and then it gave me enough length. So you can use one of these pins to bridge across the entire. I'll show that when I do the second one. Okay, so you flip it up and on the back side I'll have this guy. So you get your tiny screwdrivers down there. I'll try my best to prop this up. Like I said, it's hard to do with one hand, but you basically just well, you have to go from the top here, there's a little hole. But you get the idea. You just kind of shove one in there, one in there, and it'll pop out. And you just do that all the way along. You know, work there, and then next, and the next. So I'll do that now. Okay, so once you have you know, once you have the panel off, you'll be greeted by this. Now, I tried a little wire here because at the time I didn't really understand what I was dealing with. I should have read up on it first, but that's okay. So you just take your needle nose. It gives a bit of a spark. So you got to be a little bit careful. So yeah, you just pull them out like that. Pretty simple. Well, actually super simple. And then you just take one of them and you bend it. So first you bend it flat like this and then you bend it backwards onto itself. Just like this. Pretty simple. And then you just shove it in and you shove it in between the two. Well, you, the two outside um, pins have to be bridged and then it's bypassed. And then you can use it uh, as a normal solar panel. And there you go. It'll look just like that. Pretty simple. You see the two middle ones, you leave them open, and the rest you just don't touch, and then you put it all back together. Pretty simple. And we'll, we'll actually plug this one in now and see how much it's outputting. So the second panel is putting out the same 71 watts. So it's excellent, and it's at 32 volts. Perfect. Alright, I had to delete all my video footage. Um, it turned out my settings were wrong, so I've done a few different things. I've completely disconnected this unit since it is uh, a boost converter and my solar panel outputs too high of a voltage for my, you know, 29.4 max, whereas this is always putting out 32 volts or higher, so that's no good at all. I put a light switch on the positive of the solar so I could just disconnect it whenever I want for safety, for concerns I have. So I'll go through my uh, Make Sky Blue. Well, this is built in the same factory, but it's not. Um, it was, you know, Chinese people being tricky. But anyway, so these are my settings right now. 24 hours a day. And then you have to double these numbers. Uh, unfortunately, because this is a really cheaply made MPPT, but whatever. So D01 is 13.3, you double that number, and that's the, you know, what I want it to be at about, uh, or that's like optimal voltage for the battery pack to where it normally sits at on average. And then this is the maximum, so I told it to only go to 29 volts. I don't want it to charge any higher than that. And this is the lowest voltage, which is 22. And then this just means it's lithium batteries. And that's it. And you hit program and you're done. 
and then I installed this guy which is Bluetooth connected so I'll have a video on that and the settings I put in so everything seems to be stabilized now and everything runs really well uh, I'm pretty happy about it so uh, yeah I'll make other videos about all those changes and the problems I had with all these different systems so anyways I uh, hope you found the video useful and uh, links in the description alright have a good one bye